Welcome to Land Musings. Today we are going to go through my stamp caravan event little show bag, I guess, um, from the recent event at Bookbinders Design. So this is the bag we all got upon entry. And I actually have some of the things that I bought on the day in here. So I'll just take them out. And while I do that, I'll just, I guess, talk about what this whole event is all about. Um, Travels Company have uh, a set of stamps that, I guess, kind of travel the world at all of the Travels Company partner shops. And some of the partner shops will hold an event, and that is what Bookbinders Design did in Melbourne. And in that event, we all got a chance to stamp our notebooks and also there was a raffle um, which I will talk about later in the video. Okay, I think I have separated everything. There was also this as well. Alright, let's talk about this goodie bag and all of the contents within it. I was super excited to receive this Traveller's Times, um, which is issue 14. I currently only have like three copies of issue 17. So I'm glad to now have two issues of the Traveller's Times. This is a cute page that kind of shows you what you would do when visiting a Traveller's Company partner shop and getting a stamp. Um, and I absolutely love these photos. They remind me of the earlier days of Instagram when people were laying out their products for these kind of um, bird's eye view photos. Oops, that's just one of the freebie stickers I got from the event. I'll just move that out of the way. And on these two pages they show how other people have been using their Traveller's Notebooks, which is really cool. I forgot to mention this is also the first English version I got. The other issues I have are all in Japanese. so. I'll actually be able to read this one. Okay, next up we have a Traveller's Notebook watercolour paper insert in the passport size. And um, Bookbinders had this stamp specially designed for their store. And we have the Bookbinders Design logo at the bottom there. Um, it has that iconic camel on the stamp there. In hindsight, I wish I'd actually stamped this notebook, um, but I did get a chance to stamp another notebook earlier in the week, just because I knew the event was going to be really hectic, and I just wanted to get it out of the way so that I could actually enjoy the shopping and the people and just being there. This was really cute. Um, upon entry, you had a choice of choosing a train ticket or a plane ticket. I obviously chose the train ticket. And depending on which mode of transport you chose, you would be entered into that raffle. So that will obviously be a piece of ephemera in my notebook. And I'll use these ones too. This is a Robert Oster swatch card and a bookbinders design little sticker. There were some free stickers on the table at the event as well, so I grabbed a couple of those. And this is one of those Sarasa pens from the Vintage range. It's the red-black colour and it's the 20th anniversary pen. We were all gifted with a Robert Oster ink sample in Melbourne Tram Green, which is a Bookbinders Design Special Edition. And we also got these two pencils. Uh, the white one there is a Blackwing pencil, which I've don't have just yet and it'll be really cool to give that a go and the other pencil is just this colorful pencil which could be really fun to jump journal with okay and so on the night i actually did win the raffle um, and because i chose the train raffle ticket i ended up winning this traveler's company train uh, passport notebook and I am super, super stoked about it, but the funny thing is I already have this. I'll link the unboxing video for you up here, and I'll just show you it as well. I currently use it to house all of my, I guess, collected items from Traveller's Company. So that includes all the stamps, um, so I'll just show you those as well. So I have my washi tape, this folder with some stamps, my partner shop stamps that I've collected um, from other people who also are partner shop stamp collectors. And then I have this accordion book 
where I have stamped all of the stamps from the Stamp Caravan event earlier this year and also the one that recently passed. In this pocket I just keep loose ones or ones that I have been gifted. I'll just open this up to show you. I would say these two are probably my favourite. Yep, definitely those two and also this uh, Good Music one as well. I think this one is really cool because it says Stamp Caravan Melbourne 2023 so it's specific to the event. And on the back I had some more, the Traveller's Hotel, Traveller's Train and the Have a Nice Trip Traveller's Airlines. And in this last insert I just stamped the cover and also have a whole bunch of excess stamps um, so that I can use them in my journaling and also to share with other people who also are big fans of Traveller's Company. Like I mentioned, during the week I did Popeye earlier so that I could get some more of my bits and pieces stamped um, and one of the things I did was stamp this folder. So that's what it looks like. And oh wait, there's, there's the back. And I really love how that turned out. There's my favourite stamp there. So that was really fun. I find stamping really therapeutic. <laughs> Just trying to remember which which notebook has my other insert, my other stamped folder. Just give me a moment. I think it might be this one. Let me see. There we go. Yes, it is. It is this one. <laughs> so I've stamped it similarly, I think. Uh, maybe there's a bit more overlap on this one. But yeah, I really like how it gives these uh, folders a lot more character once they've been stamped. So I'm really happy with how those turned out. I had actually stamped a third one, um, but that one was a mistake. <laughs> I'd accidentally uh, stamped it all upside down. I've still got it, so I might use it for something else, but moving on. The things I had purchased on the night. Uh, Bookbinders Design now stock the Superior label, which is like, I think, my second favourite brand, I guess, maybe. Um, so happy with this pencil pouch. It is so cute. I went with this navy colour because I already have two green items. This one here, which is the collab with Travels Company, and also the Petite Engineer pouch, which is uh, the moss green shade. I'll pop my video on my unboxing of this one here for you as well. I think these two colours go so well together. And there was another shade of blue, but that's the one I went with. And I also got this charm, which is, I guess, a charm of the Petite Engineer bag. And I thought it would look really good on my TSL Travels notebook. The other thing I got here is one of these big clips. I already have one and I absolutely love it. So I just thought, why not have two? So the one I currently have is on my Olive TN, which is my memory keeper. And I think I'm going to pop this second one on my Midori notebook. It's just a match made in heaven. I really love the way this looks and I love how big and chunky that clip is. This is um, the smaller one I have on the passport and I just think it works well. The small one on the passport, the large one on the standard. Love it. While we're here I may as well just show you the other tiny little tab, uh, TSL tab I have on one of my passports. I've got this one here. And I think it just adds a little extra bit of character to my camel passport. And I did have to spend over a certain amount to get two special limited edition items. So I did make some more purchases. I bought this silver stamp pad by Shachihara. And this washi tape by Path, I think it is. Yeah, it's got grids and letters and stuff. And the other thing I bought is this Robert Oster ink that I've been waiting to come in stock. It is the Melbourne Tram Green ink um, which is exclusive to Bookbinders Design and I thought I had to get it because my Vietnamese name is Tram, my favourite colour is green 
and I am from Melbourne, so I can't not have this in my collection. And this is also the sample that they gave us in the goodie bag, which I'll gift to a friend, I think. Okay, the last two items are probably the most exciting pieces of this whole event. Um, I received these two limited edition items uh, for purchasing over a certain amount on the day. I've seen this one on Instagram a few times and I've always wanted it. I just think it is so pretty. The colours, the green and the pink and the gold. Love it. And also I got this washi tape, which I can now add to my collection. This is the one I have been eyeing for so long. And I do have a sample, but I can use more of it now. <laughs> okay, let's unbox or unopen some of these things. Uh, first I'm going to open up this pencil pouch. And I think, um, I think I'll use it for my deco rush. Let's just pull this out. Just bear with me while I try to locate my Deco Rush collection. Okay, I found them. They are in this Traveler's Company little pouch here. I'll just pour them out. How cute is this pouch? I love these Deco Rush tapes. They're just, they're so cute and they're so handy, but Keeping them in that pouch, it's quite deep, so I can't ever find what I need. So I think with this shallow pencil pouch, I'll be able to find them quicker. Let's just look at these two colours next to each other again. So good, so happy I went with this blue colour. There was a um, more muted blue and also a bright royal blue um, that I went with that navy. Okay, let's pop on this brass clip. And I've learned this the hard way, but the uh, the trick with this clip, or maybe it's common knowledge, I don't know, is just to lift that front tab and it slides in quite easily. There we go. That brass colour with the brown is Chef's Kiss. And now let's pop on this Petite Engineer pouch charm on my TSL notebook. I am not 100% sure if I'll be keeping it on this one, but I will for now. I just worry that the bag picture on the notebook plus the bag charm might be a little too extra, but who knows, it could actually look really good. All right, let's open this bad boy up. How cool is this packaging? I love this. I will be using it as ephemera. <laughs> yep, definitely ephemera worthy. Okay, let's see how this looks. It uh, doesn't sit as nicely as I thought it might, but it's like it needs a jump ring or something. That looks quite nice. So worry, it's quite thick and I kind of baby this notebook, so I'm just a bit worried it might scratch it up a bit or dent it. So yeah, I'll, I'll think about it, figure out where I want to pop that charm. Okay, I'll just pop that traveler's notebook with the others. And I think next thing I'll do is swatch this Robert Oster ink. I'm so keen to see what this will look like. I'm pretty sure it's not a shimmer ink either, which is excellent. Alright, let's swatch it on this card. Lately, my swatch tool of choice has been this glass dip pen. And I always have some water available to clean up everything later. Just in the bottle that looks a bit brighter than I had anticipated. But well, let's see how this swatches on the card. 
Oh, that is a true Melbourne tram green. I'm not sure if you know or have seen a uh, Melbourne tram before, but that is definitely the colour. I love that so much. Now I'll just write the name of the ink on the swatch card. Just double checking, I'm going to get that right. <laughs> Melbourne tram green. It's a very grassy green, I feel. Um, I'll have a look in my ink collection, my ink swatches, just to see how this compares with my current collection. So that's it there. I'll just bring it closer to the camera so you can see. I am really loving that shade of green. It is so beautiful. Okay, just hold on a second. I'll get my Hobonichi so you can see what this looks like against my other inks. And also I'll swatch it so you can see what it looks like on Tomoe River paper. I'd say that's fairly close to Eucalyptus Regnans by Van Diemen. Yeah. Pretty close. I think uh, Eucalyptus Regnan might be a little bit more muted, but let's give it a go on the actual Tomorrow River paper. This is also a 2023 Hobonichi A6, so it is the original Tomoe River paper. Oh, I love how that glides. It is a very wet ink. I'd say it'd be akin to the Pilot Uroshizuku inks, um, just from this one swatch. But I love that. I'll just bring you closer again so you can see how this looks on the Tomoe River paper. You can see the pool ink, which to me means it is a wet ink. Okay, now I'll just open up these washi tapes so you can see what they look like. I've got this Galen leather pouch of washi sample cards. Um, this is kind of how I keep all my washi really accessible and portable. I will probably pop it on this card. I picked up this one because it is kind of neutral, kind of uh, plain, um, and it would just be a good washi that would not be the accent piece, I guess. So I just wanted something that would be a good background piece. Okay, all sorted with that sample. And now we have my Traveller's Company tape, which I already have a sample of, which I mentioned earlier, that I got from my friend Journal with Jazz. She kindly sent that to me all the way from Europe. What I'll do is just open this up and I'll add it to my Toyo toolbox full of little Traveller's Company uh, bits and pieces. Okay, here's my toe box and you can see the other three washi tapes that I have acquired. Um, yeah, just adding that to my collection. The last piece I have to open, which I probably won't open to be honest, is this notebook. I am probably going to treasure that and not use it for quite some time. That brings us to the end of this long video. Thank you for sticking around if you are still here. As always, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. And subscribe if you would like to see more videos on planners, stationery, and all that jazz. Until next time, bye!